Hi Libra! It's time for your yearly reading with the Lilac Broom. Thanks for coming into my YouTube channel and checking it out. I've been meditating on your energy. Um, definitely feeling a sort of whimsical, I guess, vibe. Um, a little bit deep thinking. Like I feel like a lot of you are thinking hard about things. So let's see what the cards have to say about that. You know, what are you thinking about? And where is it going to lead throughout the year? All right, so I'm going to turn four cards for the different quarters of the year. Not bad. Okay, very nice. So starting off the year, first quarter, we've got Knight of Pentacles. Finally, some financial relief is coming to some of you uh, Libras. The reversal of the sun and the five of swords. I know it's been a hard road to get to that, but um, it's improving. I mean, it's going to continue to improve, but it might not be at the pace that you're comfortable with. For some of you, um, for some of you, this could be about love for some younger people. But because it's the Knight of Pentacles, I'm going to focus on money with that. Um, and the night has to do with a, a type of movement in terms of money. Um, but the sun and the five of swords tell me that this has just been a very long road. Uh, the first quarter of the year is basically a financial struggle happening. Um, but it doesn't look like it's, you know, anything that you can't manage. It's just, that's probably what you're thinking a lot about right now. So coming into the spring, this is beautiful the four of wands it's the marriage card I don't know if some of you are thinking about maybe having a spring wedding um, for other people this could really just talk about laying down strong roots and foundations and I I like when the fours come up especially after a period of struggle because in one way or another it tells me that things are gonna settle down you know like think about it, marriage settling down right people use those phrases so this could be settling down in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. It could be finding a new place to live, or it could be putting a garden in the ground because you're sticking around, or it could be, like I said, getting married. It could be the adoption of a child or a pet, um, something that really just kind of makes your small feeling of family a little bit more secure. And I've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, you know, if there is um, if there is a love relationship, the uh, woman might be ready to settle down where the man might be working on some things. So that's just some a little bit of extra that might not apply to everybody. Uh, coming into the summer, you've got this Ace of Swords. So new things are being said. New ideas are coming to life. Um, there's the possibility of something kind of breaking wide open if you want. Um, it could be something in the money, work, or business realm because to clarify, I got this Eight of Pentacles. Um, you know, and basically the Eight of Pentacles just makes me think back to the beginning of the year where it's like working, a lot of working, a lot of building, a lot of creating, you know, you're not at the end point yet. It seems like you're just at the beginning. You're just at the beginning of something. So, so for you Libras, whatever's going on in your life, you're, you're basically like in a cycle that is not coming to a close anytime soon. Um, it's going to feel like a lot of work all the time and Libras tend to work a little too hard so it doesn't even surprise me to see that you always need to be told to take time for yourself relax take it easy you know consider your health don't overstress yourself or overburden or overextend yourself in the closing part of the year of 2021 I see that you're coming into temperance which is all about finding a compromising blend you're making the blending of two things that don't go together easily work. 
maybe it's a busy work schedule with a rewarding home life. I mean, that's just, you know, one of the more common themes. Um, also, blended families come to mind here where sometimes it's not easy to, you know, have a success with this. And I feel like this is a, a period of peace, um, which is nice because it's around the holidays. I think you're going to experience a little bit of a period of peace here. And the beautiful thing is in the springtime that that knight who was dragging his feet, that knight of wands full of passion, he becomes the knight of pentacles. So if you've been trying to, if you're a female Libra and you've been trying to get settled down with, an, with a guy, with a man in particular, um, you know, I feel like he is, this temperance, this blending period at the end of the year could be really um, indicating that that's when he's going to feel his most comfortable. It wouldn't really work in reverse as for a woman, but if it's not a relationship, it could be business. Business is going to finally be like, okay, we're back on track. You know, we've got that Knight of Pentacles. We're still chugging along. All right, so the overarching theme for Libra is and always will be that you work too much and you don't spend enough time thinking about how to take good care of yourself. So try to remember to do that. I'm gonna grab a couple of runes real quick here just to make sure we've covered the themes well. This is so odd because these two runes look almost identical. Holy moly, okay. So <laughs> the marriage, <laughs> marriage rune, I think we talked about that, and constraint. Don't be in a big rush, Le uh, Libra, because, you know, I know it's a little bit of an old fashioned idea that marriage is forever because it, it, you know, in this day and age, is it? Is it actually? I don't know. But when you do get into a commitment of that level, there's a lot to it and it is a big deal. So taking your time, making that decision just seems like good advice to me. Okay, if you want a private reading to extend upon these ideas, let me know. And otherwise, I hope it was helpful. Thank you for tuning in. Namaste.